What's going on guys? My name is Fatness, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Destiny video. In this video, I'm going to be discussing how to prepare for Destiny's new expansion, Rise of Iron. Now this uh, expansion is coming out September 20th, so you guys have little, little under a month actually to prepare and get yourselves ready for its launch as well as the raid which comes out September 23rd three days later now just as quick side note for you some of you may not want to prepare at all for the rise of iron and that's totally fine you may just want to just enjoy the content that as it comes out take your time through it not rushing and that's perfectly okay however keep watching this video because this might give you some good pointers on some things that you can hold on to and some things that you might be want to get rid of that way you can have the greatest experience possible with the upcoming expansion. First off, I want to discuss Legendary Marks. Now, Legendary Marks, you have a total of 200 you can hold on to. They're very important because with the Rise of Iron, the faction vendors and um, like faction packages and stuff, they're all going to have a refresh. New weapons, new armor, new everything. Uh, Bungie has shown off a handful of the armor sets as well as some of the weapons and they look absolutely incredible and more than likely with the light level increase those are going to be going up in light level and since the base increase such as level 40 uh, you're like your level 40 that doesn't increase it's just the light this time and the light cap if I remember correctly is 380 it's either 380 or 85 and everything is going to be pretty much usable again and what I mean by usable again is blue should be able to infuse those up because blues are going to become more more of an important infusion table for it as well as other legendaries now they have not said if what the legendaries will drop at um, I'm guessing that they'll probably have like a cap about the same range as the other legendaries they also have not said if the vendor gear will be getting an increase in light level uh, which is something that I'm currently kinda wondering about myself because currently any vendor gear that's sold that you have to purchase with legendary marks is sold at 280 light which is very very low and man, much, much, much lower than what the you know upcoming cap is going to be. So you want to make sure that you have plenty of legendary marks. And one of the ways to do that is cap your mark legendary marks out before Rise of Iron. Now, y granted, you can go ahead and spend them in the next few weeks, but about a week out, you want to make sure you cap those legendary marks out. Do your dailies and your weeklies. They give you tons of legendary marks. You can get 30 legendary marks a day, aside from any legendary engrams that you may pick up doing different activities, such as running the crucible or heroic strikes or even you know the prison of elders another way to store up legendary marks is hold on to some bounties the previous iron banner I have saved up three of the iron banner bounties the weeklies which all grant 25 legendary marks each now I did this ahead of time uh, before you know the iron banner ended and I did it on a couple of my characters so I have six bounties worth 25 legendary marks each as well as you know giving 5,000 experience you may or may not have done that, and that's okay, that's not that big of a deal. We do have one more way to get great legendary marks, 25 guaranteed. That is the Trials of Osiris. There are a couple bounties in the Trials of Osiris that grant 25 legendary marks. I highly suggest you the next couple of weeks getting those bounties completed. You may not be any good at Trials of Osiris, but just go on like some of these LFGs, and you'll be able to find some people that will be able to help you collect all those legendary marks and uh, complete those bounties. Another thing is planetary materials. Very important. Uh, a lot of the armor that you're going to be upgrading will require planetary materials. Those planetary materials, some of you may just not have any at all from leveling up your factions and everything. So I would suggest holding on to a few legendary materials, about at least one or two stacks, that way you have plenty to upgrade your new armor and everything as it comes in. Uh, I kind of went overboard and stacked up a, a thousand of each. <laughs> in order to be fully prepared. You don't have to have that many, that, that's just my that's just my thing. But you definitely want to stock up on planetary materials. And you can also buy those with some legendary marks. Another thing is f Three of Coins. Uh, Bungie did say that Three of Coins is going to be making a return with Rise of Iron. Um, of course, I have a thousand Three of Coins ready, which is a little bit in excess, but you want to hold on to a few Three of Coins because you'll be able to get exotics, and those exotics will more than likely decrypt at higher light values than um, what they what the ones you're currently at. Instead of just like having it at 335, it'll decrypt like higher than that. 
Because that's what they did with the April update, which came in real handy. It was great quality of life improvement. Another thing you want to make sure that you have is glimmer. You want to have plenty of glimmer. So cap out your glimmer. All the way. 25,000. I'm sure a lot of you probably already have capped out glimmer, which awesome for you. Um, you don't have to worry too much about glimmer because you can get glimmer from all kinds of resources. But on launch day of Rise of Iron, you want to make sure you have max glimmer. And one other thing that you want to have uh, is Crucible and Vanguard boosters because they will come in very handy because you'll be able to get your faction packages really, really quickly. Enjoying all the new strikes and all the new activities that grant Vanguard and Crucible bounties or boosters or rep is what I'm looking for. You want to have those. That way you can boost your stuff up, get those new packages, get that new gear, and rock that awesome, sexy armor. Cool. Another thing you can do is a couple of days. Actually, you want to do this about September 19th, the day before Rise of Iron, or a few hours before the Rise of Iron launches. You want to edge your factions, and a lot of people that have done that were in your run, your one, uh, they would edge their factions all the way up to where they don't need, need to turn in like one bounty or do like one patrol mission, and it push them over the edge, and they get a brand new faction package. You want to do that. That way, you can easily get some of the new armor, some of the new light levels, and you'll be off to a great start at getting collect and collecting some of that awesome gear. One other thing, real quick, if your vaults are very, very packed. You want to downsize your vaults because Bungie stated that they will not be having extra vault space on the launch date of Rise of Iron. That won't be coming until afterwards. So make sure that you downsize your vault space. If you have any weapons that you just don't need or infusion fuel for like 335 gear, the day before, clean all that out because all that out is not going to be useful. Uh, if you watch this video from uh, Diet Cola for the win, which uh, I'll discuss a little bit more at the end of this video. Uh, he had a great video on this about clearing out your vault space. Um, I'll probably go into that closer in towards the end of, or the lo closer to the launch of Rise of Iron. But for right now, um, I'll let you guys check that out for him. All right, guys, that's that's bringing me to the end of this video. Uh, I don't have a whole lot more to discuss concerning preparation. Preparation is pretty easy. Just follow some of these, you know, general six steps for you. And you'll have plenty of pro opportunity to level up for Rise of Iron. Guys, if you're going for Worlds First on the raid for at September 23rd, you'll have three days to grind. So it's going to be interesting three days to get everything prepared. Save those exotic engrams. Who knows? They may level up above a higher light level than what they currently are, but we don't know if they'll grant Year 2 items specifically or not. So we'll have to wait and see what Bungie says on that. Or if they do, but we'll just have to see towards, you know, as we get closer to Rise of Iron. Which... We have less than a month, guys. About 25, a little bit, little over 25 days left to go. So this is going to be really exciting. Thank you guys for watching. If you thoroughly enjoyed this video or learned anything about it, hit that like button below and let me know what you thought about the video down in the comments below. Also, subscribe so you don't miss any more of my upcoming Destiny or Skyrim or any other vlogs or anything coming up to my channel. One other thing, Diet Cola for the win is a guy I stumbled across a couple of days ago. He's got a great channel full of some Destiny content. N new small YouTuber just like myself. Why don't you guys go give him some love. Give him a subscribe. Give him some likes. Uh, tell him Fatness sent you. And uh, you guys have a great afternoon or evening or whatever time zone you're at. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.